Yes, as we round the corner into November, we feel the reflective tone of fall and all the peaceful contemplation that the close of another year in our lives does suggest. So naturally, our minds turn to all the tech stuff we're about to buy. I'm Brian Cooley with the top five tech products according to what you've been seeking out on CNET as of end of October 2011, heading right into the holiday buying season. Number five is maybe on the list because so many folks just want to see what the hell it is. The Motorola Droid Razor. Yeah, like you, my mind's eye immediately imagines some kind of Androidian redo on the iconic Razor flip phone, but with a bigger screen, I guess. I don't know what I was expecting. Well, no, it's just another slab phone, but one that's a mere quarter inch thin and so light you'll think it's one of those non-functioning demo units. And since it uses Kevlar for reinforcement, it's great for the person on your list who lives in a crappy neighborhood. And it's got a stainless steel frame so it won't snap in two when you slam it on the table each time Android reboots. Number four, another droid. This one, the Bionic. I'm almost surprised this isn't number one. I don't think I've ever had people ask me so much about a pending new product as this one. When it debuted as a prototype way back in January, it ushered in this new class of phones we call super phones. Our review, which gave it an editor's choice, says it best. The Bionic is everything you want from a high-end smartphone. Kind of high praise from us. But it also costs a class leading 250 bucks with activation and is the size of a snowshoe. Number three is, yep, another smartphone. This time, the Samsung Galaxy S2. Samsung's Galaxy line has powered them to actually overtake Apple recently as the top maker of smartphones. And this one, like the Bionic we just talked about, works on 4G networks, which in itself is a huge area of interest among you smartphone shoppers on CNET. And like the Bionic, it also got a CNET editor's choice and a lot of drool all over it. Number two continues this crazy smartphone route today, which reminds us why smartphones now outsell computers. It's Apple's iPhone 4S. There was huge interest and pent up demand for whatever was going to follow the iPhone 4. And once everyone got over their rage and bitterness over it not being an iPhone 5, Apple moved like 4 million of these in opening weekend. Add in the fact that the 4S brought the iPhone to a new carrier, another 50 million folks who can now consider getting one, and you can see where the hotness comes from. Before I get us to the number one most popular piece of gear on CNET through the month of October 2011, let's look at the hottest categories you're all lathered up for. Believe it or not, it ain't just smartphones. Okay, with that number one category in mind, the number one most popular piece of tech gear on CNET in October was not a smartphone. It was actually a product you couldn't even get yet, the Amazon Kindle Fire. The Fire is Amazon's $200 answer to the iPad that isn't really an answer to the iPad. You see, I expect it to open up the tablet market to a new and separate population that iPad doesn't speak to, thanks to a lower price, smaller size, simpler array of features, and built-in Amazon services that have really never had their own device before. And most importantly, did I mention the price? 200 bucks? The fire hits mid-November. Check out our CNET review for word on whether it really is only the second tablet to ever get any traction with users. I've got all your links to these guys and a bunch of fresh top five lists like this over at top5.cnet.com. Check it out. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.